the skies look angry but I have bears and elk to try to find I just want to see bears I want to kill elk but not today it's kind of pre-season try to figure out where everything's at what it's doing and at the same time try not to teach out-of-staters bow hunters where I go I ain't worried about the locals the locals shit we all trip over each other anyway but I do not want to educate out-of-staters and have them in my hidey holes but I have one hell of a storm situation brewing back this way and this one I might be coming out of here a little bit soggy and not in a good way but that just is what it is luckily everything I have has pretty much been water resistant treated it ain't waterproof but at least I know I won't come out soaked to the gills I have seen a lot of elk back on this side uh oh alright I'll be back okay so what I want to do is this dark timber is where I always have luck the unit I hunt borders a trophy unit takes about 15 years to draw a tag in that unit here it's all fair fair chase it's all public there's a couple of spots on here that are private and those guys they charge you to hunt and I ain't about that so I would rather charge somebody for me to take them hunting than pay to lock myself down on so much land could be anywhere from 40 acres to a couple hundred to a thousand I would just rather I would rather fair chase it so anyhow what I want to do is I want to come back in here check out these ponds that or that beaver pond that little draw go behind it I know what's on the other side a canyon from hell but I also know that's where you find them they move across easy I mean you can look across this this is pretty flat I mean it runs uphill going this way runs downhill going this way and this uh, east-west you're basically side hilling but what I want to do is find where they're coming out of that canyon and Oh, up here about a half mile is some private and I want to check out above it and on this side of it. I hunted on this side of it like here last year. Right down here is where those elk came in. But I found a stock pond 
and I'm kind of thinking between the water right up here, the stock pond, I ought to be able to get in the middle and have, have some action. Girls, get back here. Jip, run, get over here. I got the bear dogs with me today. I was really, I really hope to maybe not necessarily shake hands with the bears, but I damn sure would love to be able to get one on video. It's been, it's been a couple years since I've really gotten decent bear video. Alrighty. Gonna find out if Sinaway is working its magic. Man. If I was a bow hunter, I would. I would be down in this. I sure would. All right. Jump on this cow trail. See what we want to do is get on that side over there. Hike all that out. We may, we may go all the way up to that private. Follow that fence and then come across this. What the fuck is that? Aspens don't grow apples. Yeah, I haven't been doing a lot of videos. It's been hot as shit. And the only place you can almost really do anything is up here. This is about 9,000 feet. Right below that berm. That's where those elk were playing. Get back here. Okay, I have made it to where I start to drop into that canyon from about here, about a mile, mile and a half this way is some of the best bear hunting and there are some big bulls. But, this particular mountain is home of monster bulls. <clears throat> Chip, Chip, get over here. Chip. My dog, coming back. My kid's dog, fucking off, not listening. That is the difference in dogs. Holy shit. Bunny, get your ass over here. 
She ain't gonna be coming out here if she can't listen. That shit don't fly. Hey, a fatwood stump. Bust that off in that inside where it's solid. That will give you fire for days. Hmm. I think... I think I'm figuring this one out. Come over here early in the morning and set up back on the beaver pond or the creek. Come across this flat and then angle back in and drop down and hunt that draw during the day and then come back up in the afternoon and follow follow the ridge back down to that beaver pond if you want to hunt elk this ain't like whitetail. It is not. It it it's its own thing. Maybe collect like old antique cars or something. It's cheaper. But if you want to hunt elk, first thing you do is hike year round that way you can stay in shape because if you get one then you get a pack out about 500 pounds of meat plus the head and you don't know where you're going to find it generally it is the thickest nastiest shit that you can get yourself into. And that's just being honest. You see guys that get them in big open meadows and you think, oh hell, you just drive right out there and find a meadow and sit on it. What they don't tell you is they've hiked 10, 12, 15 miles with their entire camp in backpacks and that is how they got there whoa let's explore this bad motor scooter See something like this is nice. I like it because you're it's not too terribly far. It's easy enough to pack something out and what the fuck? Girls. I ain't sure what I smell. I smell animals, so. Honey's going to fuck around and bring a bear into us one of these days. And then I am going to beat her doggy ass. What I need to do is leave her home. Honey, get your ass over here. See, my dog puts herself in trouble for the other dog not listening for shit. Hmm. 
I do know one thing. Ooh, yeah. Poop. This could be a nice little ambush point. Catch them coming in and going across to. Hmm. Man, I'm glad those clouds held off. Holy hell. Oh. All right, I'll be back. We just jumped elk. All I seen was ass through the little openings. And so, I doubt we're, I doubt we're going to see anything, but, bunny, get over here, come here, pay attention. I'm trying to keep the dogs with me, be quiet, use the trees to my advantage. If you are Holy shit. That tree didn't like honey being that close. Oh man. Okay. I know that ain't gonna show up. They're through the trees. I can see the tan body. It's probably about a thousand yards up there. But. Um, I'll tell you what I need to do, and what I should have done. I should have brought another game cam up, and set it up back in here, and got a look. The only thing is... Well, this time of year, but we've had a lot of rain the last couple of weeks. So I'm really surprised. But I'm not. I was going to say. And that's after a night of rain. And I'm barely leaving any track. So... You get something sneaking around back in here. I'm going to pull out of here. I got to figure out where the hell I'm at. All right. Um, I will. I will update you when I get closer to either the beaver pond or my pickup. All right. And this is how come I like to scout. I had no clue that this little 
across the water was here. That little bit of water. Oh hell. Oh hell. Uh oh. That little bit of water would be enough to hang a bowl up from coming out here. So that's what's happening. Bucky the beaver. I'm surprised the ranchers haven't dynamited that out. Okay. All right, Jippy. Okay. So this is all slough grass back in here. Got a pretty decent little pond. Got a beaver lodge right here. Okay. Now, am I going to get myself foobarred to a point of what the hell can I cross this? Or Hmm. Hey. Could be cows. Alright, I am going to cross this and then come back around it on this uphill side. So, this looks like a pretty good... Yeah. Okay. All right. There they are. I got both coyotes. Whoa! Puffball! Those are good eating. Alrighty, well, if, if I find anything interesting, I will turn the camera on. If I don't find anything interesting, I probably will anyway. But, I'm going to kill this for now. Alright, later.